Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6 Unit 2 Lesson for Practice Problems Review is on color mixtures. In Question 1, here is a diagram showing a mixture of red paint and green paint needed for one batch of a particular shade of brown. Add to the diagram so that it shows three batches of the same shade of brown paint. Well, this is one batch here. And so if I want to make a second batch and a third batch. And as I say the word batch, I'm thinking about soft batch cookies and hmm, those would taste good right now. Anyways, for each batch, I have one, two, three cups of red with one, two cups of green. Three more red for the third batch, two more green for that third batch as well. So I end up with nine cups of red paint and six cups of green paint. As we move on to question two, Diego makes green paint by mixing 10 tablespoons of yellow paint and two tablespoons of blue paint. Which of these mixtures produce the same shade of green paint as Diego's mixture? select all that apply. All right, so for every five tablespoons of blue, mix in one tablespoon of yellow. Well, let's just quickly do a diagram of what we have for this green paint, all right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yellow. And we have then one, two of blue. So for every five tablespoons of blue paint, mix in one tablespoon of yellow paint. That order is not right. I can see five yellow for one blue, but not five blue for one yellow. So A is not an answer here. What about B? Mix tablespoons of blue paint and yellow paint in the ratio of one to five. That's saying one blue to five yellow. Do we have one blue to five yellow? We do. So B is a possibility. C. Mix tablespoons of yellow paint and blue paint in the ratio of 15 to 3. Okay, now we're at yellow to blue. We've established that it's okay to have five yellow to one blue. Five yellow to one blue. And so, is it possible to do 15 to 3? Yes, because as you go from 5 to 1 to 15 to 3, you're multiplying by 3. So, C is a solution as well. D, mix 11 tablespoons of yellow paint and 3 tablespoons of blue paint. Basically, all they did was added a yellow and a blue and claim that that's the same kind of mixture. Well, no, that, that throws everything off. You can't just add it one to one back in. So no, D is not a possible solution here. What about E? For every tablespoon of blue paint, mix in five tablespoons of yellow. So every tablespoon of blue, mix in five yellow. Every tablespoon of blue, five yellow. That is true. So E works. So B, C, and E are our solutions. Moving on now to question three. To make one batch of sky blue paint, Claire mixes two cups of blue paint with one gallon of white paint. Well, let's try to draw a picture of that. She has two cups of blue paint 
per one gallon, and we'll call that white paint. Explain how Claire can make two batches of sky blue paint. Well, if this represents one batch, to get to a second batch, I just need to double what she did. So I need to put in two more cups of blue and one more gallon of white. So that way now we have gone from a two to one ratio to a four cups blue to a two gallon white. Basically, we multiplied both the two and the one by two. Now explain how to make a mixture that is a darker shade of blue. That's going to require us to add more blue. And so if we start off with two cups of blue and one gallon of white, if we keep the one gallon of white, but say add to the blue, say, I don't know, eight cups of blue, that would create something that has more blue and a darker shade of blue. And of course, on the flip side, a lighter shade of blue than the sky blue. If we're starting with two cups of blue and one gallon of white, we could do two things. We could just reduce the blue we have and go one blue per one gallon of white. Or we could keep the two cups of blue but increase our white to two gallons. Let's move on to question four. Talking about a smoothie here. A smoothie calls for three cups of milk, two frozen bananas, and one tablespoon of chocolate syrup. Create a diagram to represent the quantities of each ingredient in the recipe. All right, let's start with our milk. We'll have milk, and this milk is in cups. We're going to have bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. No unit there. And then we have I'm going to abbreviate here, chocolate syrup, and this is tablespoons, T-B-S-P. And so our milk, three cups of milk, one, two, three, two frozen bananas, one, two, and one tablespoon of chocolate syrup. Write three different sentences now that use a ratio to describe the recipe. Well, you could start by writing down the ratio of bananas to cups of milk is two to three. There's one sentence. You could say the ratio of tablespoons chocolate syrup to let's go bananas. is one colon two. And lastly, change it up a bit. For every tablespoon of chocolate syrup, because there's only one tablespoon, there are three cups of milk. All right, let's continue on now to question five. 
write the missing number under each tick mark on the number line. Well, it looks like we're counting here by six, and half of six is three. Zero, three, six, add three, nine, 12, 15, 18. So each of these is increasing by three. And then find the area of the parallelogram, show your reasoning, the blast from the past. Well, remember your base here is three. If I go at a right angle, they're going, you went out of the parallelogram, right, because I needed to. As I extend that base using that blue highlighter there, it needs to be at a right angle. And my height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. So three times seven is 21 square units. Continuing on. Complete each question with a number that makes it true. 11 times 1 fourth, well, let's just go 11 fourths. 7 times 1 fourth, 7 fourths. 13 times 1 27th, 13 27th. 13 times 1 99th is 13 99 ths And following the pattern, as long as y is not equal to 0, x times 1 over y is x over y. That is it for this grade 6, unit 2, lesson 4 practice problems review on color mixtures. Good luck.